Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and yeah, man these builds are going so fast in the last days I mean I understand why they are going fast because uh, August is right after like two weeks uh, and they are like pushing builds after builds but it's the builds are coming out so fast I can't even make videos for all of them I even skipped the build uh, 90 and now we are on the build let's uh, see eight, 80, 93 I think let's see fast uh, yeah 14393 I skipped the build 90 which didn't have so much like improvements but this one it has a like a bit better improvements and this one might be like the RTM build so this this one might be the official build because this one works pretty good the battery is pretty good I have 52% uh, um, it's 2 p.m. right now but I used I I mean in the morning I installed the build then I uh, I tested it and until now like half the battery it's, it's okay uh, and the improvements are again for the for the dual sim devices for example this this one mine it's a dual sim device so now they improved the um, the dual sim devices uh, they, they say that uh, we fixed several issues impacting dual sim capabilities using a device with two sims should work as it should so finally if you have a mobile with two, si two sims then you should have no problems using it before it was like uh, when you try to enable the where is it uh, the cellular data on the second sim for example it was uh, crashing or freezing or you couldn't like if you were calling someone from the one sim then you couldn't call from the second sim some bullshit right there now it's fixed and that, that's really nice uh, what got fixed also was the battery um, the battery for the older devices like the 735, 830, 930, 640, 530, something like that. Uh, it got fixed uh, the battery for, for those. And also on the voicemail, the battery also got fixed for the voicemail for, for overall uh, devices. Um, also, after this build, you get an update again for the store which as you can see the store it was let's close the store let's close everything so you can see how the store it opens right now because the store opens pretty damn good in, in this build as you see it opens pretty good uh, everything loads yeah here of course i think this will not, not not even be fixed with the time but everything loads correctly then plex also like the, they got the new app for the windows 10 not Windows 10 Mobile, but for the desktop, they got a, window, uh, a new <laughs> Windows 10 application. Soon it will come for the Windows Mobile, but uh, yeah, that's another thing. And also, today with this uh, build, they released uh, Skype preview for, um, for Windows 10 Mobile. Until now, I have a video for the Skype pre preview, uh, but this Skype, you could only install it to download it, and then you put it on the, your, in your phone, and then you install it. But that's more, more complicated but now you can install it from the store which is really good and the, the skype itself works pretty good it's pretty fast you con contacts here and then you have the bots uh, yeah you have the bots here you can enter in a bot room get started and speak with the bot which works pretty good also the um, the background apps they stay on the background as you see let's go into store it went to this application again it didn't like uh, close the application in and goes to the start screen of the store the 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 background apps works pretty good uh, let's see here the storage the storage is still like messed up i mean the apps on the sd card it shows all the apps let's go here for example the apps on the sd card it opens without any problem but on the internal memory it still like shows that kind of like too slow and then it crashes okay now it uh, <laughs> opened uh, as you see it opens like almost all the application but at least doesn't crash it still loads application the applications and also it shows the size not for all because it's still loading loading but this is from sd card it's normal to take so more time but as you can see it shows for most most of them shows the size even though for others still like loading 
but it shows the application. Let's go into internal memory, this device, and then apps and games. And this one takes a bit more time, and then it crashes. Okay, so now it opened. After I installed, I checked this because I checked almost all the time when I install a new build. This one because this one was fucked in the previous builds. And it still crashed, but I have restarted the phone and didn't try it after that. So uh, I guess I have to take my words back because it doesn't crash. Because I have to, I, ha I have restarted the phone after I installed the build, I checked this, it was still like crashing. And then I restarted the phone because normally I restart the phone, but I forgot to check this uh, part and oh, it doesn't crash, I guess it got fixed on this build. It's still like... This one shows the size, this one shows, it still shows for most of them the size, it's still loading, loading. But I made in a, like two builds back, I showed, I showed also in this uh, internal storage the apps. And was just crashing, was trying to load some apps and then was just crashing. Now it doesn't crash, so it got fixed this. I was, I checked this but and it was crashed, crashing so I thought it wasn't fixing. As you see, and you see, let's stop here in the messenger beta. Let's go to home screen and then let's go back to settings. See, it still stays here on the messenger beta, it doesn't like loads everything to like to, to the start. So the background apps, they work pretty damn good, I will say. I like how they work. And um, let's speak now a bit about this Pokemon Go game because um, at the moment it's not available for Windows 10 mobile. I was thinking to make a separate video for this uh, Pokemon Go. But I will just introduce it here because uh, more, more people watch these uh, build videos and so more people will be aware of this game. Because Microsoft already said that they want to bring Pokemon Go to Windows Mobile, but I don't think it will come in the near future or at least in the next weeks, next months. I don't think it will come. Uh, maybe it will come for the HoloLens because Pokemon, uh, the, like Nintendo, is already. Uh, working for a um, HoloLens version but not for Windows Mobile and I'm gonna tell you why because the game is from Nintendo but is made like in with a partnership with Google so you know all the apps from Google they are not available for Windows platform look at Waze for example Waze was before on Windows Phone was available was getting updates everything fine once Google uh, bought Waze ways died on windows i mean the, we can still find it on the store but it's not uh, updated from like i don't know from 2012 2013 since google acquired it uh, now it's the same problem as how it's in a partner with google it's like with a startup from google not straight from google it's like a how it's a garage from microsoft you know the, like a small team garage from microsoft it's the same on google like a startup from google but this means like Google will not want to bring the game to Windows uh, because uh, if you have tried Pokemon Go in iPhone or in Android when you try to log in it will uh, ask you to log in with a Google account which this shows you that it's made in a partnership with Google. Thank you guys for watching and let me know your opinions in the comments.